What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at another video late tonight. It's 8.30 at night. Okay. And this story just came out. It is March 25th. And it says, I'm getting disgusted by looking at this, but thank God the toilet's clean. Uh, influencer reportedly hospitalized with Miss Rona after licking toilet. Yes, you heard it from my lips. I'm gonna read it again. I have my breaking news shirt on for a reason. It says, influencer reportedly hospitalized with, <laughs> y'all know what's going on right now, after licking toilet. A California social media prankster claims he was hospitalized with the, <laughs> just days after posting a video of himself licking a toilet bowl for a nauseating online challenge. Where do they come up with this stuff? The TikTok personality known as Lars, thank God I never heard of him, reportedly posted footage of himself in a hospital bed on Sunday, according to the Daily Mail. I quote, I tested positive for <laughs> the 21 year old from Beverly Hills tweeted on an account that has been suspended, the outlet reported. It comes to, excuse me, it comes just two days after the prankster who goes by the social media handle Um, just in case this might be uh, a sensitive word to YouTube, um, lay. The word rhymes with lay, but just take the L and just replace it with a G. Sean Mendez posted a video of himself on Friday, um, running his tongue across a public toilet as a part as part of a bizarre and widely criticized challenge on social media. The craze, seen mainly on TikTok. A video sharing platform spurs users to post footage of themselves licking everything from toilets to grocery store produce. I actually seen one of a guy licking deodorants and whatnot at like looked like might might have been a Walmart. You know, we starting that shit again. Um, it wasn't clear whether Lars apparent infection was linked to the stunt. It comes as the number of infected Americans soared past 55,500 as of Wednesday afternoon, according to the data from John Hopkins University. The virus has also caused more than 800 deaths across the country. The social media influencer has previously appeared on the Dr. Phil show. Oh, see what I mean? Where he drew criticism for boasting about how he licked tubs of ice cream before putting them back in store freezers and claimed he made lots of money from his online following. If you want to check out this article, I'll leave the link in the description. Now let's talk. You know, this if this doesn't go to show you that people will literally go to the lowest of lows to get clicks and likes and views and followership, all of that, that you will put your damn bare ass tongue on a toilet seat. A toilet seat. First it was damn totem poles or whatever the fuck you call them when it's cold outside, you get your tongue stuck. I never did that shit, don't get me wrong. That's just stupid. You know what I'm saying? Who's to say we didn't have no shit like that back in that, those times when I was a kid? That was a long time ago. Now to licking ice cream out the stove. Y'all remember that girl who did that shit and them other people that was doing that. This guy, he spit in some damn tea and put it back on, on the shelves knowing damn well somebody might end up buying that. Now we licking public toilet seats. Not toilet. Toilet seats. Where's my water? And it's real fucked up because people like that, they will get millions and millions of followers of doing dumbass shit like this. What's next? Drinking urinal fluids out of a toilet seat? A toilet, a toilet bowl in this motherfucker? Drinking turds and eating them and smudging them against your face out of a toilet seat or out of a dog's or a cat's, let alone a buffalo? Not a buffalo, but a buffalo? What's wrong with y'all? And let me tell you something real quick. You TikTok users, if y'all got younger siblings, if you got kids, if you letting y'all kids be influenced by that motherfucker, something is wrong with you as a parent, an older sibling, aunt, uncle, whatever, cousin. 
what we are going through right now on planet earth is clearly serious and i only hope that it gets better eventually hell soon before this year ends if we get there and people like your dumb ass going over here to the malls to the grocery stores wherever else they have public bathrooms and licking bare ass toilet seats let me tell you something I appreciate all 1.6k of y'all watching my videos and I appreciate it keep subscribing keep watching the videos stay tuned you know what I'm saying but let me tell you so I'm almost at 2k subscribers and I'm gonna just say this right now God willing okay God willing, I get to 20K someday. But I will tell you this. From the time I get there, you will never see me. You will never see Taylor. Rain. You will never see Taylor. Taylor. You will never see my black girls licking no toilet seat. I don't give a damn if they said I would gain 2 million subscribers. That would be nice, but I'm not putting my mouth on no toilet seat. I wouldn't even do it on my own toilet seat. I don't, especially let alone a public one. Do you know how, excuse my language, but I just got to keep it real. Do you know how many asses and dicks and balls and vaginas have been on that toilet seat? And the rest of them? Do you know how many urinal fluids have flown through that motherfucker down the sewer where Pennywise and them float down at? Do you know how many shit turds and balls and shittity fluids have went down there? Huh? Now I got the damn giggles. I want to keep this serious. Because this is serious. <laughs> Do you just know all type of, with any kind of people that could have been in that stall? And the, just like the rest of them. It's a public bathroom. So it's public toilets in there. You don't know who been in there, bruh. It's just certain things you just have to say, yo, this ain't worth all that. But somebody like you, pretty much a sellout at this point. This motherfucker was already on Dr. Phil. What else are you trying to get on, huh? Uh, uh, what's his name? The one that's supposed to be talking to dead folks? Tyler, whatever his name is. Dr. Phil again. The news. They do anything for clout. The song is so true. And y'all is out here influencing young kids. I mean... The most popular apps such as TikTok, maybe Instagram, maybe Snapchat, I don't know. I really just use YouTube to upload videos, watch people I'm inspired by. I use Instagram, sometimes I get on Snapchat. Other than that, that's it. I don't even use Facebook like that no more. And y'all are influencing kids to lick toilet bowls. It was a chair. I ain't do that. And now you supposedly got the okay that's what your dumb ass get all right see how much see how important them followers gonna be if you end up on a deathbed fool see how important that money you get from this is gonna be if you on your deathbed you in the hospital getting all probed and stuffed with needles and tested and all that you up in the hospital dying looking like one of the walking dead Cause you wanna lick what? Not ice cream cones. It's bad enough you was licking ice cream in the little bowls in the stores and putting them back. Being trifling towards people. People probably got some kids who wanted some ice cream. Now they got, not licking lollipop. Lick, 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 like the lollipop, okay? Shout out to Lil Wayne. No, licking toilet bowls, toilet seats. And once again, let me tell you something. I don't want to make this video too lengthy, but you will never, I repeat, disclaimer, you will never ever see me licking a toilet bowl a day in life, ever. I don't care if it was so damn clean, what, especially in public bathroom, I wouldn't trust that no way. Ladies, if you gotta go to the bathroom, like say if you at the mall with your girls and shit, with your man, whatever, bitch, you better squat. 
fellas, if you got a poo poo, put them little a uh, little tissue mats on the toilet seat and hell y'all can squat too and hold your stuff i'm just saying but anyway that ain't the point i don't care if they said that toilet was so damn clean mr clean himself would retire and tell them people who make the mr clean commercials to fight to hire somebody else and make him black i'm not licking no toilet bowl okay the moral of this story is y'all Please don't get influenced by these dumbass people doing this dumbass shit at a time such as this. People are out here sick, dying, and everything else, and people are out here doing shit like this. What? You know what? I said all I had to say. You guys let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Mm-hmm. And since this is primarily a reaction channel, leave me some reaction requests. I'll show you, will you, won't you? I would highly appreciate it. And um, yeah, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed my little quick rant, hit the like button as well. Um, follow me on my Instagram. And once again, hold on. Wash your hands. Wash your booty butt cheeks. Wash your ass, okay? And don't lick no toilet seat. I repeat, don't lick no toilet seats. Y'all stay safe. And hopefully we'll get out of this rut soon. It's Taylor Rand, and I'm out.